everybody. Um, so this is Bay Singers tournament vlog number two. We've got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. I'm actually going to be playing the intermediate division. Uh, second tournament of the year, I was wanting to try and get one in every month, but I, I miss February, but uh, this is March, and I have one this weekend and one next weekend I'm signed up for. So i got March and April, so out of the first four months of the year, I will have three tournaments in. So uh, that's positive. Wasn't able to get one in February, but maybe somewhere on down the year, I'll be able to get two in one month. That way I can... I would like to have 12 tournaments this year, but it's going to be two rounds, and then after uh, the tournament, there's going to be an MPO Final Nine, which yours truly, uh, myself, and Jason is coming down. He's not playing the tournament, but he's going to film catch cam for me. We're going to be filming the uh, MPO Final Nine, so it's going to be pretty exciting. I wanted to make sure I recorded some of this tournament vlog the day before. That way I've got plenty of battery life. Zach Melton. Uh, from Dynamic Discs has signed up and as well as Logan Bowers uh, from Innova Discs. So uh, we've played rounds with both of those guys, uh, BDGC Joes versus the Pro. If you haven't seen those, check them out because we had a great time with both of those guys. They're great dudes and I'm excited to get a chance to see them tomorrow and get to film them. I've got a few changes to my bag. I told you in my first tournament vlog, if you hadn't seen it already, go back and watch it. One of the biggest changes that is unfortunate is I lost one of my envies, uh, my plasma envy that I use for dead straight shots. It's it's lost and not lost. It's on top of a building. I know where it is. It's been there for uh, over a week, uh, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it back. So uh, this is a uh, MVP matrix. It's a mid range. It's definitely not going to stay. Uh, I've tried it before. I don't know. I mean, it might surprise me. You never know. I tried it before, and when it first came out, I got one, and everybody was uh, hoping it would be an overstable mid-range. Uh, that was before the deflector came out, obviously. But uh, And when I bought it, I had overstable mid-range in my mind, and it was not that at all. So my initial review of it was... Not really a review, but when I first tested, I was thinking over seven men and I wasn't. So I didn't really enjoy it. But now I, I think if I go into it with a different mindset, that it's not definitely not uh, an over stable mid range. Uh, it might be pretty straight. Uh, kind of. I've heard a lot of people say it's kind of uh, MVP's buzz or rock, kind of a straighter disc. The spin, which. I think I've thrown it a total of like three times, so I doubt this is going to come out in the tournament. But it's very understable putter. Got this from my buddy Pat LePage. I had an inertia, a MVP neutron inertia in there, and I just took it out. Uh, no replacement. The drift that I had added uh, recently, I showed you in the last video. Um, it's it's too close to the inertia and I actually like this a little bit better so it just kind of knocked the inertia out of the bag. Anyway, talking a little bit too much about that. Uh, I, one thing that I did want to update you on is uh, it's kind of interesting, going to be very funny. Uh, at the start of the year, a buddy of mine in Germany, uh, he came up to me, his name is uh, Torsten Schill, hope I said it right. Uh, he. Uh, he came to me with the idea that uh, he, he noticed our ratings are very similar. So this is where this is going to get interesting. He wanted to start some sort of bet with me, uh, like a ratings bet to see, like for one year, how we do this year uh, is uh, going to reflect, or that's what we're going to be based on this year. So January of 2020 is when that's going to end. And... Uh, Whoever has the lowest rating in uh, at Gen in January 2020 has to film a round of themselves playing disc golf in a dress or a skirt or some sort of women's clothing. So uh, I'm really going to hope to play good this year. Uh, this is just my second tournament. My rating bumped way up after that last tournament. It bumped up to 910, which uh, I think was... A little bit too high of a bump I mean I'm not complaining that you know the higher the rating the better it looks but uh, our ratings were very similar at the start of the year and I haven't played a whole lot of tournaments in my I think 11 total now after that 
first one this year, the Knoxville Ice Bowl. But um, with tomorrow's tournament, the Morristown Spring Fling, 2019 Morristown Spring Fling, uh, that's definitely going to be in my head. So uh, it's not just going to be, you know, trying to better my rating. It's going to be trying to better Torsten's rating as well. So Torsten, I really hope for my sake that I'm able to put you on BDGC next year and it's probably going to be an address, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, if not, then you have something to look forward to in seeing me. And this one thing that also has to change is this. I'm no longer number one BDGC. Jerry is. so. Oh, uh, that's another thing. Jerry and Riley are also playing the tournament. Uh, but Jerry, I don't think I'll see him because he's starting at Morristown Kiwanis. And I'm starting at uh, Frank Lorino. Uh, rotary disc golf course so i probably won't see him but i will hopefully see riley uh maybe we'll get carded up again like we did last time i'll try and get riley in this vlog as well but anyway uh morristown spring fling that's what this tournament vlog number two is thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more stuff tomorrow like i said i just wanted to get some of it out of the way today because i wanted plenty of battery life for tomorrow so i can film the pros so good morning it is tournament day i'll be playing frank Lorino first and then after that, I will be going to Kiwanis for the second round. And then I have to go back to Frank Lorino uh, to film the MPO final nine. These are my home courses, Morristown, Tennessee. So hopefully I'll play decent. Frank Lorino, we're gonna be playing the yellows and the pros will be playing blue. There's not a whole lot of scoring opportunities. Some of them are short, but it's like kind of half open, half wooded. So. If you want to see that course uh, check out uh, where we filmed a bag bag tag match number one uh, the first video Griffith ever joined us and we also filmed the three discs with a twist there once they open the blue pins but we won't be playing any blue pins today pros you will see the pros play them so it'll be the first time the pros have been on film playing the blue pins so I'm excited about filming that not really a whole lot more to say about this besides the fact that uh, my camera fell over I mean I could say that I'm gonna try and get some practice shots in maybe a little bit of putting and uh, I'll try and get some in the video Any yeah, of course I do. Yeah. After I make this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hit 
out everything on the way. Just like I was the first time on camera. Okay, so round one is over, and uh, that was terrible. I'll just go ahead and say that right off the bat. I uh, shot one of the worst rounds I've shot there ever on the on the yellow pins, and I just couldn't get anything together. I only got one two the entire time. I two whole ten, and. Uh, missed several 10 foot putts that I should have never ever missed one partly because of wind but I can't really blame the wind it's I should practice more of the wind I shot a 61 and with two par fours on that course the par is 56 so it's not too good I'm well over what I wanted so we started on hole one actually uh, I got paired up with a good group of guys, Tony Salick, Jason Howard, Nick Taylor. Uh, we had a good time with those dudes, great guys, love playing with all of them. Uh, three on hole one, which I'm okay with. Hole two, I threw OB up and over the fence, didn't turn it over enough, took OB there. From there on out, just a few pars, got to hole five, and uh, that's where it turned around for the worse. Um, I got a six on hole five. I had a short drive, luckily kicked out some, had like an Anheuser approach shot, and uh, it stood, it, no, it hit and fell down again. And then I putted twice and it stood up and rolled. And I mean ridiculous rolls that, it, it was pathetic. Uh, they should have never rolled how it did, but you know, you can't really, can't really change that. Uh, so I got a six there, and luckily I was playing with a group of guys I'm good friends with. I like these dudes, so it it didn't get me too much. But I I, just, I couldn't I couldn't really pick back up from there. I, I really uh, I almost two to hole eight again, which is crazy. One of the hardest holes there to two. Uh, I, I tooted it a few. Well, last week I tooted it. Uh, great hyzer shot and then soft proxy up shot straight into the basket today same thing good hyzer shot threw my soft proxy again and hit the pole it was heading straight for it I thought it was going in again but anyway not a good round uh, going to Qantas I'm on my way to Qantas right now uh, hopefully I can make something happen there uh, I guarantee I'm going to be in the on the bottom card after that I mean I didn't expect that round one bit. I figured maybe a round par, but 61, there's, yeah. Only got one two, uh, one two the whole round, uh, which was hole 10. Uh, missed my putt on hole 12 for a two. I had some good scramble shots. I flicked a lot more than I normally do. I, you watch the videos, you know I don't flick much, so unfortunately I had to, and I had a few good ones, but wasn't able to capitalize on my putts. But. So I'm on my way to Kiwanis right now. Uh, my girlfriend Amanda's meeting me with my two daughters, so hopefully uh, spend some time with them between the rounds, eat some lunch, clear my head a little bit, and hopefully do a lot better at Kiwanis. So I'm sure you've heard the saying, what can go wrong will go wrong. It's true. I couldn't do anything today. Uh, Torsten 
your van it's probably safe uh these were my home courses and i just couldn't do anything uh Kiwanis, uh round two i shot a um 58 which is even for course par but we all know it's four over uh on all three so uh not a good round uh i just couldn't really do anything no putt no good putts uh whatsoever the entire tournament uh no real great drives i mean a few decent ones but just couldn't do it had another great card had a ton of fun with the guys i played with uh matt jordan nick again i mean it was a great round uh, as matt said it was the best worst round of disc golf i've played in a long time yeah uh, uh, it was very fun but just we just couldn't couldn't shoot good but I am back at Frank Lorino now, and I'm about to go film the pros with Jason. He's going to be doing catch cam, so uh, make sure you check out that video as well. I will uh, update you after the round ratings are up uh, on this and placement and everything, but uh, it's not going to be good. I promise you that. <laughs> Hi, it is actually Monday morning now, and I am, I forgot to finish up the tournament vlog on Saturday, didn't do it on Sunday. Um, I'm almost emotionally healed from that turn of events this weekend. Um, that was rough. That was very bad rounds. Um, I should probably clean this. I'll do that for the next vlog. Anyway, uh, not a good tournament. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not a good tournament. I finished five over par for the tournament. Uh, 20th place out of 31 people, I believe, in intermediate. So, I was definitely expecting way better than that. Uh, don't think I hit a single putt all weekend. A good one, at least. Uh, I missed like three 10 foot putts, so I'll definitely be practicing that. Uh, coming up for this next weekend's tournament, the Iron Pig. <clears throat> and um, I've got to do something different because uh, I played on my home courses worse than I thought I ever would during a tournament. So, <clears throat> at Morristown Kiwanis, uh, I know you all seen that. We did. Uh, a double one of the doubles matches there if you want to check out that course and I filmed the pros there as well uh, I went out there myself and shot 10 under course par which is you know up, there's a few fours on the course par but I shot a 48 out there with uh, nothing but a putter or with putters with uh, axiom envies and uh, then I go out there with my full bag this weekend and I didn't get a single two so uh, that was terrible. I had tons of putts for twos and just couldn't hit any of them. So Anyway, my battery's only got like four minutes left on it and I need to be safe driving. It's just sitting there. I'm not holding it. So uh, I'm going to finish this vlog here. Tell you my round ratings were like, I think it said 868 and 862 or something like that. So well below what I should have shot and 
hoping I can get some practice in this week. I got doubles I'm hosting today, and uh, hopefully some practice will help, and I'll be able to shoot better this coming weekend. So, thanks for tuning in to the vlog. I'll try and get some more shots in on the next tournament, uh, and I will see you then. So make sure you check out if you haven't already. Check out the tournament coverage that I did, and uh, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, let me know how your tournaments go tournaments are going this year. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. My girlfriend shaved my head yesterday. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, so I should, probably should have wore a beanie because my head is a little bit cold, but I'll be okay. Uh, my camera fell over. I mean, I could say that. A <clears throat> poop. There we go. Come on back, y'all. Come on back. Good shot. It must be the camera or something. That's <laughs> good. Yeah, big one. Here, I'll put those in one more. The outtakes on the camera.